Okay, this is lesson 2.1.2, and it's about drawing roofs in Revit. So what I want you to do is to go to the student share folder with my name on it. Uh, I want you to open up the folder there that says CEA, and I want you to find the file named lesson 2.1.2 roofs, and I want you to copy it to your hard drive. Now when you do that, you're going to get a file that looks like this. I'll actually show you it from up above. And the very first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to Annotate, then hit the Text tool, and type in the word Shed right above this roof or this uh, set of walls that's to the upper left-hand corner. So uh, you can pause the videos, by the way, anytime along here and uh, take a look at uh, what I'm doing and then you can restart the videos. So I'm going to look at this uh, from a 3D mode right now. So the first roof we're going to make is a shed roof and the shed roof is uh, pitched at an angle at one end of or one side of the uh, roof. And so it's just one straight uh, angle surface down. So we're going to uh, start a new roof. So I'm going to go to architecture and I'm going to choose roof. And by the way, uh, you'll see that this is called roof by footprint if I just click up here. And that's all we want to use right now is roof by footprint. There's roof by extrusion. We'll do that uh, a little later on. And then there's roof by face. I don't think we'll best mess with those. And we're not going to mess with soffit and fascia and gutters. So I just want to click on that icon right there. And then it's going to ask me, um, you've created the roof on this level. Would you like us to move it to roof? And the answer to that is yes. Now, I'm going to go back to the to the top view again. I'm going to look at this guy right here. And this is grayed out because we're in sketching mode. When you see the X and the check mark here, that means sketching mode. So Define slope is unchecked. We're going to check that right now. And we're going to set our overhang to one foot. And I'm going to click on one of these uh, long walls. And it doesn't matter if I do the long wall on the right or the left. It's not a difference there. You can see, though, that the uh, arrows are to the outside, which is what I want. If you accidentally have it come to the inside, Make sure you click on that double arrow to put it to the outside. Now I'm going to go up and I'm going to turn off the fine slope. And I'm going to go all the way around, making sure that my double arrows in this pink line are on the outside. And I'm going to hit the check mark. And I'll go back to my 3D view so that we can see what it looks like. Um, we're not back to 3D. Let's see, 3D, here we go. Well, it's not working, so I'll go up here to home. And uh, what you'll notice is a couple things. One, our roof is very steeply pitched. I'll look at it from the front view right here. So it's very steeply pitched. The other problem we have is that the walls don't extend up to it. Now, good way to go about uh, fixing that problem is I'm going to uh, select the uh, wall here and I'm going to try and pick the other ones and it's not allowing me to do that so I'm just going to stay with one. I'm going to pick attached top base and then I'm going to select the roof itself. I'm going to do that to all of them. Attach top base, pick the wall, attach top base, there we go. And then if you take a look, I'll go around to the back here uh, and take a look. If I zoom in on this, it's not showing that on this side. Let's go to the opposite corner, opposite side. I can see that the front wall isn't all the way up to the roof on uh, this uh, this shed. So I'm going to uh, select the wall and attach top base to the roof. And that problem should go away. Yeah, and it did. See that? So make sure you don't have that little opening there. Okay? Now go back to 
back to that. Now, this group is roof, sorry, is very steep, and we want to change the pitch on this. This is a 9-12 pitch, so for every one foot of run, there's a 9-inch raise, and that's very steep for a shed. So when I click on roof, I, my properties panel changes, and right in here, I'm going to change this to a 4, and hit apply. And if you were watching, the roof changed significantly in, in size. So there's the 412 pitch. So for every 12 inches, it raises four. So that is what we want with this first uh, roof. You want to make sure you save this. And uh, we'll talk to you about the next one.